Anya, a young woman in her 20s, resides in Nizhny Novgorod, Russia, with her muscular boyfriend Genya, who's a swimming instructor. She's employed at a bakery, constantly surrounded by delicious treats. When they initially got together, Anya was very slim, but over time she put on noticeable weight. One day, they're invited to a friend's wedding. As Anya tries on older clothes, she's disheartened to see they don't fit. She comforts herself, believing no one will recognize her change. Genya sees it but stays silent, understanding it's a touchy subject. After a few attempts, Anya finally finds a suitable dress. However, Genya's reaction isn't positive. He's taken aback because she's changed since they first met. The idea of attending the wedding with her, where many of his fitness friends will be, makes him uneasy. He drops hints, suggesting she might prefer to stay home. Relieved when she opts for a cozy evening with pizza, Genya heads out. As he leaves, he avoids a kiss from Anya, a gesture she definitely catches but hides her pain. Alone, she slips into comfy clothes and checks her weight, seeing she's now 76 kilos. While she's vocal about her weight gain, her only solution is a glass of water after some positive affirmations. She then cooks some greasy snacks and, while waiting, starts browsing online. There, she spots photos of Genya and his fit friends at the wedding. One picture catches her eye, Genya with a slender girl, and a boomerang video of the same girl pecking his cheek. Furious, Anya decides to crash the wedding. She calls Natasha, her bestie, for a ride. Natasha sees the weight gain but reassures Anya that she's still gorgeous. Arriving at the venue, Anya spots Genya dancing a little too intimately with the girl. Overwhelmed by jealousy, she intervenes. Genya looks caught off guard when he sees Anya but carries on dancing while the other girl rolls her eyes and leaves. Later on, as Anya digs into her meal, she questions Genya about the girl he was dancing with. Genya tries to brush it off, saying they were all dancing together. Pushed by Anya's insistence, he finally confesses that he's not into her anymore, stating that she just eats all the time and has become a weight on his shoulders. Tears fill Anya's eyes, but before they can discuss further, the bride and groom come over. Anya's heart sinks even more when the bride mistakenly asks if she's expecting a child. Genya, not knowing how to handle the situation, excuses himself and departs. In the next scene, Anya is seen on a bus, tears streaming down, not minding the stares from strangers. She arrives at her mother's place and interrupts her mom's date. The date, sensing the tension, leaves to give them some space. Heartbroken, Anya confesses to her mother that Genya left her due to her weight gain. Her mom tries to console her, mentioning that she's not fat, but naturally broad-boned. This doesn't comfort Anya, who feels even more devastated. Later, lying on her mom's couch, she scrolls through old photos of Genya and herself. She stares at a picture from some months back, saddened by the change in her physique. The next day, her phone rings, it's Natasha, urging her to come over. Once at Natasha's place, she takes refuge on the balcony, lamenting about Genya. Natasha reveals that Genya dropped off Anya's stuff the previous night and offers her to stay with her and her husband, Demas, for a bit. While Natasha and even Demas try to lift her spirits, complimenting her beauty, Anya remains heartbroken and longs for Genya. The next day, Natasha sits with her and shares a story about another friend who went through something similar to Anya. Her boyfriend had dumped her via message due to her weight gain. But, instead of feeling down like Anya, this girl hit the gym and in just a month, became trim. The regretful ex-boyfriend was so taken aback that he flooded her workplace with flowers, pleading for her to take him back. Hearing this, Anya points out she doesn't have the funds for a gym membership. Natasha suggests a workaround, take advantage of the one-week free trials at different gyms around town. Feeling motivated the next day, after her daily affirmations and water routine, Anya gives the gym a try. It's new territory for her, leading to a few clumsy moments like tumbling off the treadmill. However, just an hour later, she's indulging at a nearby eatery. Natasha, who works there, is so disappointed to see her cave so soon that she tosses out Anya's meal, urging her to have some determination. Later at home, 
Hoping for a quick fix, Anya slathers on moisturizer, wraps herself in plastic, all while munching on chips, thinking it might help her lose weight. That night, she sneaks to the fridge for a snack but Natasha catches her. The following day, Anya resolves to steer clear of unhealthy foods. A tough task, given she's employed at a bakery. At one moment, while icing a cake, she can't resist a taste and quickly does 10 squats as a self-punishment. Throughout her shift, she's constantly tempted. When left alone with a freshly baked cake, she battles the urge but eventually succumbs, eating half of it in one go. It dawns on Anya that she's dealing with a deeper issue. She seeks out a support group for those struggling with overeating. In a room full of women, there's just one man, Kolya. Introducing herself as Angela, she fibs, saying she's a journalist researching eating disorders, not someone struggling with one. Many in the group are in denial about their challenges. Kolya, frustrated, bluntly calls everyone, including himself and Anya, overweight. He also catches on to Anya's lie, saying it's clear she isn't a journalist but just another person in denial. Embarrassed, Anya fakes receiving a call and exits, only to be followed by Kolya. He suggests they grab a bite at a nearby diner, and Anya, unable to resist the allure of food, agrees. Kolya suggests they team up as fitness buddies, ensuring they motivate each other to work out daily, monitor their food intake, and offer emotional backup during their journey. Though Anya questions Kolya's motives, she decides to give it a try. The next morning marks the beginning of their fitness partnership as they jog in a nearby park. Initially, Anya's a bit hesitant around Kolya, but over time she sees his genuine nature. Kolya's self-assuredness about his body starts rubbing off on her, and she starts appreciating her own body. They chat before each meal, understanding and supporting one another since they both face similar challenges. Gradually, Anya begins to shed weight. However, her confidence takes a hit whenever she's around slender girls at pool gatherings. During such times, Kolya is her pillar. To vent out, they sometimes shout aloud. Anya's focus remains on earning Genya's approval, which makes Kolya feel left out. After losing 10 kilos in just over a month, she feels ready to see Genya again. She gets a new swimsuit and accidentally meets Genya at a pool where he's an instructor. Their interaction starts off playful with water fights, but the mood shifts when the girl from the wedding appears, introducing herself as Genya's girlfriend. Heartbroken again, Anya seeks solace in partying and drinks. The next day, she wakes up, bewildered, in Kolya's bed. He reassures her that he respected her privacy. A flashback reveals that Anya, in her inebriated state, was about to leave with a stranger. Kolya intervened just in time, even taking a hit to protect her. Confused, Anya visits her mom to share her recent experiences. Her mother points out that Anya's ongoing quest for validation might stem from childhood trauma linked to her father's departure when she was young. The realization hits Anya, and she decides to confront her past by visiting her father. She asks Kolya to drive her, given it's a long five-hour trip. Throughout the journey, Kolya subtly tries to show his affection, but Anya remains unaware of his feelings. At a wooden cabin, they finally meet up with her dad, Sergei, who's living with another woman. Anya questions him about his absence from her life. Sergei recalls a past birthday when he brought her a gift, but she showed him clear rejection from behind a window. That night, a candle slips from Anya's hand, setting the cabin on fire. Instead of worrying for her, Sergei scolds her for damaging his home. After this, Anya and Kolya make their way back. Before parting, she gives him a peck on the nose. Elated, Kolya exchanges his watch to get her flowers. Meanwhile, Genya shows up to apologize to Anya. They spend intimate moments together. When Kolya comes back with flowers, he witnesses this and leaves, heartbroken. In the morning, as Anya is with Genya, he remarks on her changed appearance, sparking in her a realization. She doesn't want a relationship filled with doubts. Another argument ensues, and Genya departs. She later heads to Kolya's place, seeking solace. Kolya, however, is upset and ends their fitness partnership since she's reached her weight goal. The next day, 
She tries visiting Natasha but finds the door locked. Taking a risky route through a neighboring window, she learns that Natasha had a major fight with her husband. After talking things out, both feel better. The day after, Sergei comes around, apologizing for his past mistakes. They share a dance, reminiscent of her childhood. Anya later joins a fitness event to see Kolya. Spotting him sipping on a soda, she discards it, reminding him she's still his fitness guide. She points out he still has work to do on his weight. Together, they participate in the event, finishing it strong. At the end, Kolya musters the confidence to plant a kiss on her. For once, Anya grasps that being fixated on looks won't bring her joy. Real happiness emerges from self-acceptance. Kolya, with his constant effort to stay healthy yet not being embarrassed about how he looked, serves as her inspiration. She aims to emulate his attitude.